Hello guys and today I'm going to show you my review of the Asus E410. So without any further ado, let's get started. The Asus E410 is one of the most impressive and baffling laptops I've ever seen and this might just be the cheapest laptop I've reviewed on my channel. This laptop comes in at just $100, which is almost insane to think about and that too from a company like Asus. This might be one of the highest value for money machines ever. Now for this price, you shouldn't go expecting much, but let's see how well this laptop does. In this review, like always, we'll be looking into the build quality and design, port selection and input, keyboard and trackpad, sound, display, performance and battery life. So first up is the build quality, which is actually quite decent. The Asus E410 is made from a plastic body, which comes in three different color options: blue, pink and white. The outer design of the laptop is actually quite unique with letters and symbols shown there in a very abstract way. It is quite a nice looking laptop with a nice shine to it. It weighs in at 1.3 kg and is around 18 mm thick, which definitely makes this a lightweight and portable laptop. Even the hinge construction is well built and the hinge allows the screen to fold back 180 degrees. Overall, this is one of the best built and lightest budget laptops I've seen and nothing compares to it in its price. The ports and input include two USB Type A ports, one USB C port, a HDMI port, a headphone microphone combo jack, an SD card slot, and power in. Other than the exclusion of an Ethernet port, there is basically nothing this is missing, even over more expensive laptops. Turning to the keyboard, the keys have a bit of a rough texture and are very spongy with little bounce back. This is to be expected on a really budget laptop and is still usable. The Intel key has a odd yellow border. but it keeps with the overall bold design of the laptop. You can also have the keyboard backlit which is next level on a $100 laptop. The touchpad comes equipped with the Asus's built-in number pad which you can toggle on and off. It's a way of keeping the keys big and more accessible by not cramming in a second number pad on the right hand side of the keyboard and is very useful for those who use Excel a lot. However, other number pads are optional screens that you can make disappear on their more expensive options. and this one is just printed directly onto the mouse pad it does look quite odd when you are using the trackpad instead of the number pad but it's easy enough that you'll get used to it sound quality is surprisingly good though the max volume is limited the sound produced is clear and punchy as the speakers are on the bottom of the laptop sound can be slightly muffled if it's placed on a soft surface nonetheless this laptop is perfectly fine for listening to music and watching movies the display is a 14 inch hd led display with a 78% screen to body ratio. Whilst it's a good size for streaming, the screen is quite dull even when turned up to full brightness. This also means that the laptop isn't that suitable to be used outdoors in direct sunlight. Again, these are complaints that you would put up if this was more expensive, but in this price, it's absolutely forgivable and it's surely usable at the least. Performance on the laptop is responsive for regular tasks. The Asus E410 comes equipped with an Intel Celeron N4020 dual core processor. paired with 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of eMMC storage and integrated Intel UHD 600 graphics. As this is a bare bones laptop, it's only really usable for basic tasks such as web browsing, emails, watching videos and very light image editing. With so little storage on this model, there isn't much space to install software or games. It's a good option for students or anyone who mostly uses web apps. This was never going to be a benchmark king, but the performance you get from this is honestly surprising. If you are just a casual user or want something that won't break the bank, this is definitely it. The battery life is one of the standout features of the Asus E410. Due to the low powered components and the lower resolution display, the laptop is able to last for around 10 hours on a regular use day and can compete with laptops 10 times its price. So the final verdict for the Asus E410 is that I'm extremely impressed by the price to performance and the value this laptop offers. It might be the best bang for the buck laptop I've tested on my channel and for a regular light user, this is a go-to budget option in my opinion. If you're interested in buying this laptop, I've left links in the description for you to check the laptop out. So that's it for the video guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.